Hello everybody, welcome back to K4Cubing and in today's video I'm going to be giving you the best tips to get faster at 3x3. Tip number one, learn magic. Tip number two, learn better methods. Most people you see will use CFOP to solve a cube and that consists of making a cross like that and then solving your F2L like that and then doing OLL like that, and then PLL. All the pros say that this is the best method, but they only say that because they don't want you to know the best method because they want to be the best in the world. If you look very, very carefully, you will notice that the best people use the, be the belt method. And that is a, it's a lesser known method because all the pros try to keep it a secret from you. So that's gonna start by making a belt in the middle. We have a really easy setup like this. So we already have a lot of the belt done already. We gotta figure out how to do the rest of the belt. Shouldn't be hard. There we go. Okay, so we have our belt in the middle. Now the next step is we're going to have to find whatever these other centers that are not in the belt. We have orange and red. Pick one of those. I'm just gonna pick red just because. Now we gotta use special moves to make sure red is on the top. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use something similar to F2L to put all the red pieces down here. All we have to do is pair this piece up with this piece in a certain way so that we can just put it straight down here. Okay, there you go, very simple. Now we have another red piece down here. Now we're gonna do the other corner. This red piece. Okay, we have our next red piece down here. And for the edges, it's very, very, very easy. All you have to do is slice moves and U moves. So for this one, all you have to do is U, M prime, U prime, M. And you can do something very similar for everything else. All right, now here you might have cases when you have some parity. All you have to do is rotate this corner in this case just to fix that so you can go like, okay, and now it's fixed. And now you might have a little more parity for PLL. All you have to do is M2, U2, M2 to fix that and then you can solve this side. And after doing this side, this is gonna be like normal OLL and PLL. And that, my friends, is the belt method. The next tip goes along for OLL and PLL. Now, there are a lot of OLL algorithms that you've been taught to wrong. For example, HPerm. You've been taught to do it like this. But that is by no means the best algorithm. Why do that when you, all you have to do is flip it to the bottom and do R, U, R prime, U prime, D, D 30 times. It's not hard. See, it's very easy. Now you've been taught to do this algorithm like this. F, sexy move, F prime. But never do it like that. And you can do is just turn it around, do the same thing, and then just solve this one like this. And that's how you do it. It's very, very easy. Now one more, you have JPerm. Some people say that this is the best algorithm in the world, but no, this algorithm sucks. All you have to do is what they say, and it's solved. But why, why in the world? Guys, if you wanna be faster at cubing, whenever you get this case, here's what you need to do. Just completely rescramble your cube. It just makes things so much easier. And now when it comes to things like in competitions, you're going to have timers like this. Okay, make sure that whenever you start, you hold the timer like this so that your hands are really close to the cube so you can get started as fast as possible. Okay, you also need to make sure that you hold the cube when you stop the timer. Because if you do it like that, you save a lot more time. Because if you just put it down before you stop the timer, you're wasting so much time. One more thing to make sure is that when you stop the timer, you hit the yellow button as soon as possible. So then the timer can start over and then you can stop it again and the judge won't realize what happened and you can get a really fast time. So here's an example. Oh, 
0.257, that's a world record.